Um, now that we've seen the latest and greatest GX Cloud, let's hear from Altruist about their experience using GX Cloud in real life. Abe and Stavin, the floor is yours. Awesome. Stavin, thanks for joining us. And, and just to refresh, uh, Stavin is here from Altruist. Uh, they've been one of our um, customer advisory partners for the last several months using uh, Great Expectations Cloud and giving lots of great feedback. So Stavin, thanks for joining us. Oh, your mic is off still. Hey, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Uh, so can you start off by telling us a little bit more about Altruist, what you guys do, who your customers are? Yeah, sure. So Altruist is all-in-one platform for RIAs. And Altruist's mission is enhance independent financial advice, making it more affordable and accessible to everybody. So like having the financial independence to majority of the people in this country. That's awesome. Uh, can you use the word RIA? Can you just unpack a little bit? What's it stand for? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so RIA is, uh, is the like LLC, uh, it's a registered investment advisor, but in layman term, it's a financial advisor who make investment decisions on behalf of their clients. So they can buy the stock uh, or any other investment in a mutual fund or any kind of investment they do. Awesome. But we are providing a platform and it's all in one solution for them. Cool. We'll, we'll get into what the platform does a little bit more when we talk about data quality. But but first, can we hear a little bit more about you and your role? Yeah. So uh, I am working with Altruist for over two years and I transitioned from engineering manager to the product manager. Currently, I'm responsible for the billing product at Altruist. And it's just one piece in this RIA platform that we have. Uh, but now in my day-to-day, -day, mostly I'm busy with my product discoveries, roadmap planning. Either I'm grooming the user stories or talking to the UX or just reviewing the system design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I mean, we've talked before, but your role has been an interesting one where you've been very involved in the data, but also have this kind of organizational translation role of um, yep. helping to build roadmaps and help under the pe other people understand how to get more from the data. Um, all right, let, let's talk about data quality specifically. Given who you're building for and uh, the kinds of data that you work with, how would you describe Altruist data quality needs? So data is like at the center piece of Altruist. It's very critical due to the highly regulated market. Uh, we deal with uh, all the security on top of that. It's people's money. So we enable advisors to provide all the financial uh, access to their clients. That means we have to meet the advisor's trust. Uh, if anything goes wrong with our platform, advisors are losing trust. That means we are affecting their business as well. So it's a very centerpiece. Uh, and with that, we need very accurate data. And just to give you a high level overview, like uh, we have 100 plus microservices, 30 plus external partners where we exchange data. So when we receive data, we have to be 100% sure that the data that we use in our platform is accurate and it goes the other side as well. Like when we share the data, we also want to be make, making sure that we are not passing any wrong information to our partners. So data accuracy and integrity is like the foundation to our operations. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I mean, you, you're a fintech company. There's kind of no way to get by without, if the dollars are wrong, then nobody's going to trust it. Yep. Um, what have you done in the past for data quality? I, I know that you tried some other things out before you, you came to great expectations. Can you describe those for everybody? Yeah, sure. It was quite a journey. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we do use Airflow and initially we just started with the data validation schemas. That means we are storing all the validation information into the table. And it was kind of a metadata uh, where we know which column uh, should have like what type and few other information. But definitely it was not enough. So we built the Java-based framework on top of it. We were still doing the data type validation. 
but along with that, we are also comparing the yesterday snapshot with the daily data because we received the data on a daily basis and we have to validate the daily data. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but again, uh, we realize that this is also not enough and it's like very time consuming process. So we, on top of that, we implemented another tool for data anomaly detection. Uh, it was working fine. Uh, it gave us like a good triggers, like what's wrong, but it didn't give us insight on what we are looking for. So, and the missing piece was the data integrity check. And with the great expectation, probably we achieved using the custom expectations and that's how like we transition to the great expectation from there. Got it. And we've talked a little bit about timeline, but can you just share when you started using great expectations and, and once you made the switch over, what that journey was like? Yeah. So a great expectation wasn't just like uh, the recent change. Uh, even when we are doing our other tool development or in a process for using other tools, uh, we evaluated GXOSS first in 2022. Uh, it was really good tool. We really thought that it's, this can be our data testing tool, but due to the resource constraint, we couldn't do it. Uh, because it was an OSS, a lot of uh, feature that we were looking for was not available into OSS. So we had to build those capabilities. Again, like uh, when we get the invitation for the GX Cloud beta, uh, I was like very happy because most of the things were covered. Uh, uh, for example, your UI, uh, where everybody can participate, everybody can see uh, the custom expectation that I can use into this UI part or the cloud part. And uh, the most important was like historical validation results. So, every users in my company can see the historical uh, results. Yeah, that, that's been an important learning for us over the years. It's just being able to see that history is an important part of the value that comes out of the product. Well, let, let's turn around. Um, what are some of your future plans for using Great Expectations Cloud? So we want to democratize the data testing framework across all development team. So we have I mean, we call it squads, but uh, every squads has the Q engineers embedded and they are doing a great job with the automation. And their automation is the API and UI. So we already have that process built in, but the data testing is something that we want to integrate with the development process where everybody is participating there. So testing is not only the QA job or like QA team's responsibility, Whereas developer is writing their uh, data validation. I mean, they're starting, start thinking about data testing from their design perspective. So it's more of like the shift left culture that we want to get in and mm -hmm. integrate uh, into the software development process to foster the culture where integrating data integrity and quality assurance are like the fundamental piece of it. Yeah, that shift left, I, I feel like is a bit of a buzzword, but I also think that there's a real thing happening there where, um, I mean, this isn't just data quality, but I, I think we see it in the data quality world. There's a strong push to just catch mm -hmm. things earlier and catching things earlier often pushes you to need to collaborate across teams more than you have in the past. Yeah, um, 100%. Yeah, it feels like you guys are out in front a little bit there. Uh, I wouldn't call it like uh, we are in front of it, but yes, we are trying there. Uh, and there's the end goal. We want to be there. Uh, just a few things to highlight here, like uh, while using the GX and as we're talking about the shift, like it, so GX Cloud definitely help us moving in shift left direction because as I mentioned, like we had different frameworks earlier and we tried different tools as well. Now with GX Cloud, we assume that we will have the unified product where everybody is using the same tool, everybody's speaking the same language. And when I'm talk, saying everybody is like the developer, uh, the software test engineers or the product managers. So everybody understand the same tool, they use the same language and 
we are getting better quality. So using DX Cloud, we definitely improved our reaction time to the data errors. And the one reason was like unified tool that everybody understood. Awesome. Well, looking at the clock, we, we need to wrap up, but Stavan, yep. thanks so much for joining. Uh, and thanks again for all of the input and feedback you've given as we've developed yep. GX Cloud. Thanks, Abe. All right, Molly, back to you. All right, thank you, Abe. And thank you, especially uh, Stavan for joining us.